So, I typically don't make videos on the same day and upload them like so recently, but I have exciting news. Uh, the Magic Mike's podcast has a new member and they've completely got rid of the old member, Aaron. And remember, Aaron said some things that were not so nice to African Americans. And she was one of the people who pushed for T. Wu to get banned. She was one of the people who pushed for Jeremy Hambly, the quarterling, to get banned. She was one of the people who pushed for me to get banned. And she was on the pick one meme. And obviously some of the pick the Facebook members of Magic for Good or Magic for Bad. I forget which one it was. They made fun of Aaron and she didn't like that. She took it that as an opportunity to expand her growth, to say some nasty things about the previously sitting president, and then say some nasty things about T. Wu, Jeremy, and myself. And she even, ironically, she had a idea where she would quit and she would be a professional apologist. She would help magic content creators write their apology. And so she was canceling people like there was no tomorrow. I mean, imagine this, right? You create another job title, and this is real. I mean, I've I seen the tweet where she says that, hey, I should just quit my job and become a full-time apology writer for MTG content creators because she was going after them hard. And now she herself got canceled. And I would say, you know, I... Hey, here's some things that I'm, I'm going to say. The NPL got canceled. You know how I feel about the NPL. Hasbro stock is way up since the NPL got canceled. I, I wonder why that is. Dungeons and Dragons, I said, is my favorite set outside. Is my second favorite set. Return to Ravnica is my first. And it reminds me of a Magic the Gathering set without social issues being pushed. Kaldenheim, if we look at Kaldenheim we can see, huh, there seems to be some social issues that are being pushed. Like, this isn't just my opinion. This is, like, super obvious. Now, that being said, it's a good time to play Magic. It is a great time to play Magic. Amazon has infinite supply and relatively cheap prices, even though Rudy Chan doesn't like the cheap prices. I do. I, as a player, love the fact that cards, singles could not be cheaper. And Wizard of the Coast has realized something. Omega, duh. We don't need Channel Fireball events. We don't need Magic Fest. We don't need Grand Prix. We don't need a Pro Tour. We don't need an MPL. We don't need Mythic Championships. We don't need a game store. They've come to the same conclusion that Rudy Chan has come to from the very get-go. Why have a game store let people play Magic? Why don't everyone just play Magic at their home? Casual, right? Casual Magic players are not going to go to the game store anyway or play MTG Arena. I mean, the other day, I got a bunch of MTG Arena booster pack codes, kind of like Pokemon, but they're not in booster packs. They're just given out to game stores to give to people or to streamers. And that's the solution. Hey, you're watching me stream. I got a few booster pack codes. I'll give them out as we go on, and then you can redeem them. It'll be a good time. Solution solved. Or problem solved. So, I could not be more effing happy with the status of Magic the Gathering right now. And I don't think Hasbro, I think Hasbro is hilariously happy. They've made 40, if you invested in Hasbro stock a year ago, you made 44%. Yes, that's correct. You made a 44% return on Hasbro stock from a year ago. And it went up, I think, 9% today. I don't see them discontinuing the universe beyond with the Dungeons and Dragons. Hopefully we'll see Power Rangers sometime down the line. Maybe some Transformers. Maybe Monopoly Man. I don't see them discontinuing Secret Lair. I don't see them discontinuing their really good partnership with Amazon. And all Amazon has to do is sell it less than anyone online, including Rudy Chan. And it's game over. It's game over. For any distributor, even if you had a store, you don't have a store, it's game over because who would buy from, I mean, people are always going to buy the cheapest thing. Even if they come to your physical store, as I've learned, they will buy a box from Amazon in the Amazon box, take it to your store and open it and try to trade it to or sell it and cash to your customers. 
Long live Papa Hasbro is all I need to say. We live in a different reality. I'm fine with it. And now I get to hunt because there's a lot of people who canceled me that I can now hunt. They're open. It's open season now. And, uh, you know, I had to keep my mouth shut because, you know, I, A, was I trying to open my store. So I had, was like, oh, I probably should be a little bit more like friendly, I guess, would be the term. And now it's uh, the people who have canceled me one by one are being canceled as I speak. Amazing, no?